This country's king is a direct descendant from the Prophet Muhammad. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Jordan, a captivating country in the Middle East, known for its rich historical sites like Petra and Jarash, stunning landscapes including the Dead Sea and Wadi Rum, and its warm hospitality and diverse culture. Stay to the end to discover some insider tips on must-try Jordanian dishes and the best ways to experience this enchanting land. Jordan is located in the Middle East, south of Syria and Saudi Arabia. It has a land area of nearly 35,000 square miles, making it similar in size to Portugal or the US state of Maine. It is landlocked except for 26 miles of coastline on the Red Sea. The country has four main geographical regions. The valley follows the path of the Jordan River. It runs the length of the country from north to south and includes the Jordan River Valley Basin, which contains the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth's surface at 1,300 feet below sea level. The valley has a subtropical climate and fertile land. East of the Jordan Valley lies the Eastern Desert, covering around two-thirds of Jordan's total land area. This barren, rugged region contains jagged mountains and valleys with minimal rainfall. Bedouin nomads inhabit parts of the sparsely populated desert. The highlands run down the center of Jordan from north to south with an average elevation of 2,000 to 3,000 feet. This region has a Mediterranean climate with more rain, allowing for forests and agricultural production. The capital Amman lies within the highlands. West of the highlands is the dry and inhospitable Western Desert. It stretches to the Jordanian-Saudi border and contains the Wadi Rum Valley, dotted with rock formations and picturesque sand dunes. Jordan has a small, relatively open economy that is well integrated into the global marketplace. The World Bank estimates its GDP to be around $48 billion as of 2022. Lacking natural resources and oil reserves, Jordan has invested heavily in education, infrastructure and tourism to attract foreign investment and integrate into the global economy. Jordan's main economic sectors are industry, mining, tourism and services. Major exports include garments, fertilizers, pharmaceuticals and potash, while top imports include oil, machinery and food. Economic growth has been hindered by regional turmoil, high unemployment, government debt and an influx of refugees from neighboring countries. However, Jordan has worked closely with the IMF and World Bank to implement economic reforms focused on reducing public debt, lowering unemployment and achieving sustainable growth. The area of modern-day Jordan has been inhabited since the Paleolithic period, with evidence of ancient human settlements dating back over a million years. The region was centered along ancient trade routes connecting Mesopotamia to the south, with Syria and Anatolia to the north. Various kingdoms rose and fell in the area, including the kingdoms of Ammon, Moab and Edom, which are mentioned in ancient Near Eastern texts and the Bible. Over the centuries, Jordan was conquered by a succession of regional empires. In the 7th century CE, Muslim Arab armies conquered the region during the Islamic conquests under the Rashidun and Umayyad caliphates. Over the next centuries, Jordan would be controlled by various Islamic dynasties, including the Abbasids and the Fatimids. The Crusaders briefly occupied parts of the area in the 12th century. Eventually, the region came under the control of the Ayyubid dynasty and then the Mamluk Sultanate based in Egypt. Jordan became part of the Ottoman Empire in the early 16th century and would remain under Ottoman rule for the next four centuries. The area was split between the Vilayets, provinces of Syria and Arabia, though the population remained mostly tribal Bedouin, 
19th century reforms led to greater settlement and agricultural development. During World War I, the Great Arab Revolt secured the area for the Allies. In 1921, the Emirate of Transjordan was established by the British, becoming a British protectorate and being ruled by the Hashemite Emir Abdullah. In 1946, the Emirate gained full independence from Britain and became the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Jordan was involved in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War and annexed the West Bank until losing it to Israel in 1967. The country relinquished claims to the territory in 1988 and made peace with Israel in 1994. Today, the country is a constitutional monarchy with a developing economy and close ties to Western nations. Jordan is home to a diverse population made up of different ethnic, religious and linguistic groups. Its total population is around 11.2 million, according to World Bank estimates. The majority of Jordan's population consists of Arabs, the indigenous inhabitants of the region. The two largest ethnic groups are the Palestinians and the Bedouins. After the creation of Israel in 1948, many Palestinians settled in the country. The Bedouins were historically nomadic tribes of Arab origin. They have transitioned to a more sedentary lifestyle and reside mostly in the south. There are also small Circassian, Chechen, Armenian and Kurdish minorities. But overall, most Jordanians share a common Arab heritage. The official religion is Sunni Islam, practiced by around 92% of the population. Jordan's Muslim community has long coexisted peacefully with followers of other religions. Christians make up about 6% of the population, primarily adherents of the Greek Orthodox Church. Other Christian denominations include Catholics, Armenian Orthodox and various Protestants. A small minority practices Druze, Baha'i or other belief systems. The official language is modern standard Arabic. Most Jordanians speak the Jordanian dialect of Levantine Arabic in contexts. English is widely used in business, higher education and tourism. Minority languages include Circassian, Chechen, Armenian and Domari. However, the use of these languages has declined over generations. Located at the crossroads of the Middle East, Jordan's small size and lack of major resources have compelled it to pursue a balanced foreign policy amid regional turmoil. Jordan relies on external support and strong alliances to promote security and economic development. They are situated in a turbulent neighborhood bordering Israel, Syria, Iraq and Saudi Arabia. This precarious position has impacted its foreign policy choices. Jordan has maintained peaceful relations with Israel through their 1994 peace treaty. Although the Palestinian issue remains central to public opinion, the conflicts in neighboring Iraq and Syria led to an influx of refugees into the country. They participate in the US-led coalition against ISIS. Jordan's most vital strategic alliance is with the United States. This partnership has brought the country over $20 billion in economic and military aid since 1951. They also have strong ties with Saudi Arabia, other Gulf states and the EU. While aligned with the West, Jordan aims to balance relations with other major powers. It joined China's Belt and Road Initiative in 2018 to attract Chinese investment in infrastructure. The country also maintains decent ties with Russia. Jordan positions itself as a voice of moderation in the Arab world. It supports Palestinian rights and the two-state solution. It made peace with Israel in 1994. Hospitality is integral to Jordanian customs. Generosity and welcoming guests with coffee or tea is a point of pride. Greetings tend to be warm and lengthy. Elders are respected. Social life often revolves around the family. Islam 
and Christianity influence many cultural traditions, Islamic holidays like Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha are widely celebrated. Jordanians tend to dress modestly. Mosques and churches are architectural focal points. Religious sites like Mount Nebo and the baptismal site of Jesus attract pilgrims. Jordan has produced influential visual artists like Mahmoud Taha, known for his cardboard sculptures, and painters like Rafiq Laham. They have a small indie music scene producing alternative rock, hip-hop, and experimental bands. The country boasts renowned musicians like the late composer Tarek Al Nasser and the pop singer Hani Mitwasi. Famous Jordanian authors include poet Mustafa Wabi Altal and novelist Ghalib Halasa. From exchanging stories over tea to celebrating festivals as a community, cultural traditions firmly bind Jordanian society together. The country's art scene reflects the nation's dynamic history. Jordanian cuisine is rich and flavorful, often blending Mediterranean and Middle Eastern influences. Here's a brief overview of some popular dishes. Mansaf considered Jordan's national dish. Mansaf features tender lamb cooked in a fermented dried yogurt sauce, served on a bed of rice and accompanied by flatbread and pine nuts. It's a dish often served on special occasions or to honor guests. Maglubar. This dish translates to upside down due to its cooking method. It's typically made with layers of rice, vegetables, such as cauliflower, eggplant and potatoes, and either chicken or meat, cooked together and then flipped over before serving. Malfouf is the Jordanian version of stuffed cabbage rolls. Cabbage leaves are filled with a mixture of rice, minced meat and spices, then rolled and cooked in a tangy tomato sauce. Mujadara, a simple yet delicious dish made with lentils, rice and caramelized onions. It's often served with yogurt or a salad and is a popular comfort food due to its satisfying flavors. These dishes showcase the diverse flavors and ingredients prominent in Jordanian cuisine, each offering a unique taste of the region's culinary heritage. If you enjoyed this video on Jordan, you'll love this next one.